Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the functions of ecosystem. Broadly there are three important functions of ecosystem. This includes energy flow, nutrient cycling and ecological succession. This nutrient cycling is also called biogeochemical cycles. Okay. These broad functions are further divided into particular functions includes regulatory function, supporting function, provisioning function and cultural functions. These regulatory functions include the gas regulation. So with the help of biogeochemical cycles that I mentioned in the previous slide, the ecosystem regulates the gases include oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen. Okay, And the climate regulation with the help of biogeochemical cycle, ecosystem regulates the climate. For example, uh, by regulating the carbon dioxide concentration, nitrogen concentration. Okay, And the disturbance function. Ecosystem reduces the disturbance to the environment. By way of, for example, the soil erosion disturbance is prevented by the growth of grasses. So it, it prevents the runoff of the soil. And water regulation the, with the help of uh, water cycle, that is also one of the biogeochemical cycle. And soil nutrient retention, nutrient regulation by nutrient cycling like uh, nitrogen, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle, potassium cycle. Okay, uh, then water waste treatment and assimilation. For example, the in ecosystem we have uh, components called saprophytes. These are organisms which decompose dead and decayed organic matters, and they convert this organic matter into nutrients for the plants to help them to assimilate the nutrients for their further growth. This is called waste treatment and assimilatory functions. Okay, then pollination functions, as we know. We, there is a symbiotic relationship between the pollinators and the uh, plants that is flowering plants okay then biological functions these are all the regulatory functions of the ecosystem then the second important component is supporting functions uh, we in our previous slides discussed about the niche for example for a particular organism there will be a particular niche which supports it its habitat so it provides supporting it, it provides habitat the ecosystem Okay, then soil formation is also provided by the ecosystem by interaction of the living organisms that is fungi, bacteria and abiotic factors like, uh, uh, like rocks and minerals. These are when weathered with the association of living organisms, it results in the formation of soil through a course of time. Okay, then the provisioning function. This ecosystem also provides various services. This include food. It provides food in the form of cereals, fruits and vegetables, animal food sources. And raw materials, it provides raw materials for various industries from both the terrestrial ecosystem as well as aquatic ecosystem. And genetic resources, mind it, what we are eating today is, is obtained from the forests. For example, the cereals, rice, wheat, are all the wild varieties which are domesticated by man by way, uh, through his evolutionary mechanism. So, genetic resources, for example, in order to develop, develop uh, drought resistant or pest resistant varieties, we need to take important genes from the forest wild varieties of these plants. Okay, so it also provides genetic resources and the, it provides shade and shelter for the organisms and also pharmacological resources most of the drugs are der derived from the ecosystem also that means from the forest or the oceans or rivers organisms present in these in these ecosystems and the next important function is cultural functions of it provides recreation facilities for example we uh, set up wildlife sanctuaries national parks biosphere reserves for providing recreation as well as scientific research for the community okay and it also provides landscape opportunities these are all the broad functions that is performed by the ecosystem so we discussed in our first slide about energy energy flow this is the first important function of the ecosystem and what is this energy flow it is the flow of energy from producer to the top consumer okay it is the flow of energy from producer that is plants flow of energy from plants to the top consumer that is tiger or lion with the help by through intermediate traffic levels okay 
So this is the what this is the flow of energy from producer to the top consumer. And this flow of energy is always unidirectional. It always flows from the plants that is primary consumer to the top consumer. Okay, that's the third plant primary producer to the top consumer, not in the reverse direction. This is not the case. It always flows from the primary producer to the higher trophic level. So what is trophic level? Trophic level of an organism is the position it occupies in a food chain. So it is the position of an organism. It is the position occupied by an organism in a food chain. Okay, uh, that I am going to discuss in next slide with the help of diagram. Okay, uh, the trophic level interaction. Trophic level interaction means the way in which the member of an ecosystem are connected based on nutritional needs. Okay. This is interaction based on nutritional needs. That is feeding mechanism. Okay, traffic level interaction include uh, food chain, food web, and energy flow. These these three things are interaction between organism based on feeding mechanism. That is the nutritional needs. So this is the traffic level. So this primary producers is one traffic level. Okay, this primary consumers. Here includes maybe rabbit or grasshopper, which feed on the plants. These are all belongs to one particular trophic level, and each level is called each level a food chain is called a trophic level. So this is the food chain. That's what I was wanted to explain. Okay, so this is this is the picture or representation of food chain. Here the green plants are eaten by the rabbit. Rabbit is eaten by fox. Fox is eaten by the golden eagle. The golden eagle, after its death, reaches the soil, and it is decomposed. And this dead and decayed organic matter is decomposed by the fungi, bacteria, and other saprophytes present in the soil. And the organisms which which convert, which decays, decomposes this organic matter are called saprophytes. Okay. This is the food chain, and these saprophytes converts the decayed organic matter into nutrients, and these nutrients again is utilized by the plant source, and then the uh, cycle goes on. Okay, so we were discussing about trophic level interactions. So there are three important trophic level interaction. Trophic level interaction means interaction based on food needs. Okay, these three are the important. interactions the food chain food web and ecological pyramids ecological pyramids are again divided into different types one is pyramid based on numbers based on biomass and based on energy so this is it about the functions of the ecosystem in our next video let's discuss about the food chain and food web thanks thanks for watching please please subscribe to the channel and here you can get uh, the previous videos of this series environment and ecology series click here you'll you'll have a button here okay thank you thanks for watching